Well, a very good evening from the London Irish Centre here in Camden Square. It's been two and a half months of blood, sweat and tears for tonight's competitors. For many, the first time they have ever set foot in a competitive boxing ring. A hugely admirable venture from some of the city's ordinary folk. Tonight is their opportunity to do something that is anything but ordinary. A 600-strong crowd packs the main ballroom at this fantastic venue in the heart of the city. Friends, family and colleagues alike sit amongst the crowd. The glitz and glam of London's nightlife combined effortlessly with the grittiest and toughest of sporting disciplines. 13 fights scheduled on tonight's bill, so buckle in for a big night of boxing here in London. This is Battle Royale, this is White Collar Boxing. Inside the ring tonight is the WCB announcer Peter Lowe to bring in the fighters. Well, Ray Muzan, 22 years of age, describes himself as a, a fitness entrepreneur. Runs all sorts of classes, personal training, boxer size, one-to-one -one personal training as well. His uh, older sister's fighting on the bill later on tonight as well. Look forward to seeing her in action, but uh, he says he's got a point to prove tonight. He's pleased to be back in the ring his second fight describes his opponent Darren as having a very laid back style a good boxer It'll be interesting to see what these two bring to the table tonight what a reception for the 36 year old Darren Fearon he's a trade floor support worker at HSBC a Manchester United fan from North London. There's something new. But phenomenal physique. Certainly keeps in shape. He said to me earlier, favourite fight ever was Sugar Ray Leonard against Thomas the Hitman Hearns. And when I asked him what's a game plan earlier on, he said, I'm going to relax. And when you relax, everything comes together. Huge support here at the London Irish Centre for Darren Fearon. Scheduled again for three two minute rounds. Let's listen to that reception. The bell goes for the start of the first round. Ray and Darren touch gloves. Darren coming forward in the southpaw stance. Popping that jab out. Left hand on the back of it. Ray Muzan coming forward aggressive. And he comes with the right hand. Compact, solid style from Ray. And a nice counter right hand as Darren Fearing came in now. Fearing not deterred. He's relaxed coming forward. Switches to orthodox. So aggressive. Styles and both poised, ready to pounce. Right hand lands from Fearon and Muzan unable to land the counter. Fearon that stalking poise as he comes forward, waiting for his opening. Good couple of shots there landed from Muzan. Nice opening counter from these guys. 
aggressive come forward style from Muzan there bangs his gloves together he means business Got the show with the right hand then came forward with a jab same again but Fearon not taken aback by it this time gets off with shots of his own and these two men just waiting for one man to throw first and then when they do all guns are blazing from both sides Fearon stalking forward again he said relax he looks undeterred by the shots landed he comes forward Muzan in the corner now backs to the ropes and Muzan certainly the most the more aggressive of the two men so far but Fear and Lannis and clean press shots for the judges Muzan again swinging away how many of these are landing and how many are coming off the gloves is yet to be determined Fearon just pats his chest trying to bring him on patiently waiting Double jab. Fear in there. Ooh, and a right hand landed after the bell there. Not sure how that one will be viewed by the judges. It was very, very late as well. The bell had quite obviously gone. But whether that was just a bit of mind games for him, Darren Fear to try and rattle his opponent. By the way, I'm sure the referee will make sure he has a word with him about that. One round down. Certainly moves down the more aggressive of the two. Whether it was enough to take the round, we'll have to wait and see. sounds for the start of the second round Fearon comes forward moves down with a one-two partially landed that Fearon on the attack in the corner moves out taking two big shots blinkered eyes of Fearon there looks a bit bamboozled by that attack he's coming forward head low and then springs into action finishes on the jab Darren Fearon there swooped his head in low went for a left hook narrowly missed and now comes off for the left hook that does land. Then a right hand. Vicious encounter, this one. Fear on with that right uppercut. Good land and Muzan in the corner looking a bit baffled. But he comes forward again. Wild swings from both sides there. The referee just separates them for a brief respite. Who's that stepping in with a jab? He's caught with a counter from Fearon. Both waiting for the opener. Both come up with a jab. Fearon lands probably the better of the two again. Yeah, good right hand over the top from Ray Muzan. counter over the top of Muzan's jab from Fear on there. That will have caught the eye of the judges. Another close round between these two. Two rounds down. One to go.
Well, Ray Muzan won his first fight in the WCB. Won on points, he said it went well. And, uh, his confidence went up having won that first fight. He finds himself right in the midst of a tough battle here against Darren Fearon. The contrasting styles. And they both touch gloves at the beginning of the third and final round here. Fearon comes forward. Muzan eager to get the shots away. And well, they're going to hold nothing back here in this third round as they meet in the centre. Muzan coming forward. Fearon trying to avoid the punches and land counters. And he does so. He's landed a good right hand as Fearon just hangs on briefly. Explosive start to the third and final round. Muzan comes forward, fear on Ducton, landing a right hand to the body. Referee just pushes them back and then says box. Forward comes fear on Muzan, lands with the jab, misses the second. And now they lock up. The jab again from Muzan, trying to bring a bit of order to the chaos that started this opening third round. But now it's Fearon that comes forward. Muzan's back is to the ropes. He's trying to fight his way out. He's done so. What a tear up. Listen to the crowd. Lovely shots landed from Muzan. Fearon's helmets all over the place. Referee pulls him back. And just look at Darren Fearon. He's stiff legged. He's taken a couple of big, big shots to the head. And Muzan sent to the neutral corner. He's going to have to readjust the helmet there. Blood to the nose of uh, Darren Fearon. And Ray Muzan looks exhausted in that neutral corner. And Darren Fearon able to box on. He comes forward, not much longer to go now in this third and final round, but Muzan has another big shot, slightly spaghetti legs there of Darren Fearon as he comes forward. He's not quite on stable legs and Muzan lands again, a big right hand, pushes his opponent onto the ropes. He's swinging away. Fearon's caught two, three, four big shots. He's back on the ropes. Referee's having a look. How has this not been stopped? He's coming forward. Time out as Oh my word, Muzan's helmet's come off. Darren Fearon is all over the place here. How on earth he stayed on his feet? Do not know. Took some massive shots. Just 15 seconds to go in this third and final round. Both fighters look absolutely exhausted. Fearon comes forward on wobbly legs Muzan just waiting for his man will we get the explosive finish Muzan forward again what a right hand from Darren Fearon and Muzan is down just when we thought Fearon could be finished Muzan dropped with an absolute piece of a right hand from Fearon the crowd on their feet my word, he hit the canvas with some force. Less than a second to go in the third and final round. Oh, cool time on it already, in fact. What a way to end that fight. Absolutely unbelievable. And it is Bedlam in here. Just look at this crowd. Well, Darren Fearon took absolutely everything that Ray Mazan had to throw at him for the best part of 30 seconds. He must have caught 11, 12, 13 clean shots to the head. His legs were all over the place. He went to the neutral corner. He had 15 seconds left. And it really looked like he was down and out and right on the bell. What a right hand it was. Clean through the jaw of Ray Mazan and down he went. How will the judges score this?
we await the winner. And he snatched it right at the death. 36 year old Trey Floor support manager at HSBC from North London. It sounds like he's bought half of North London here tonight, but what a finish from Darren Fear, and he needed nothing less than a knockdown in that final round, and he got it. Wonderful finish, great fight from these two. Darren Fearon is the winner. When you relax, it all comes together, he said. He left it pretty late, didn't he?